A very good morning to all my subscribers, my viewers, the obedient family. Thank you for joining me this morning. Now, the criminality and the expositions that are going on in the Labour Party, Julius Aburi, other party members and all that, you know, have exposed a lot of, have revealed, sorry, a lot of stuffs, and one of which is the threat to Peter Obi by Julius Aburi. A lot of you will be shocked with what I'm saying, but I feel that Peter Obi bottles a lot of stuffs inside just because he don't want to trigger some kind of thing. He's a peace lover. He's somebody that don't want violence. He's somebody that don't want, you know, so he wants to just take it as easy as possible. He wants to foot play by the rules and everything. And because of that, there are a lot of things he bottled inside. And I feel that it's not too good. Now, he's going to be having a chat with us, Obedience, on Parallel Facts today at 7 p.m. I urge our Obedience to, on, on X to actually tune in, to actually get into that space and let us hear what he has to say about the whole Labour Party stuff, about him himself, about the way forward for him if this issue is not resolved and, if possible, some of the secrets that he's actually bottling in that he has refused to come out and say to the Obedience. We really love to hear what he has to say and for those that are not able to actually you know watch it i will try as much as possible to record and make sure i bring it out here for you guys to hear from the horse's mouth uh, let me continue what i was saying he was he's been threatened and this thing was exposed in the space by somebody that is in an in-house member of the Labour Party and somebody that has been closely following this situation. I'm going to be showing you that video so that you can actually, you know, get informed about what is happening and then we'll find, we'll actually talk about it a little. But before I do that, let me also tell you that the Northern leaders have come out to say Tinubu's government is a failure and there is no hope for the future with this government. And they regretted ever even giving power to the APC because the APC has been colossal failure. What this video and when I come back, we will continue. The message to the people of the North Central is the fact that uh, we have uh, entered a one chance government. And uh, I'm uh, pleading with them that uh, let us be very mindful from now and henceforth. We have always elected PDP before, and we have seen the benefits of electing PDP from 1999. Suddenly, when we were church, we were looking for greener pastures. This is where we have landed. Today, uh, Gary is selling for 1,000 naira a mudu. And uh, lots of other things have become out of reach of the poor person. Uh, so the best we can do now, we are agrarian people. I just hope with our governor is doing a lot in terms of uh, providing fertilizer and inputs for agriculture. So uh, let us use our land and, and do some uh, real cultivating. But this government, uh, certainly, uh, is not uh, a government that uh, is going to help us much. And then the issue of uh, security, I will ask everybody to be very mindful. It's not a one-person thing. Let us be very mindful and take care of, uh, be very careful where we go to and what we do. Thank you very much. Now you've had it right. Basically, I don't think that this is supposed to be a new thing. This is this is something that every every person that understands that is smart enough will know that look, we are heading nowhere with the whole situation. Because the more things, the more they try to say the fix things, the more things get worse. Ah, blah blah blah. The dollar, the naira has gained value. Uh, the dollar is now going depreciating. The naira is appreciating, and boom, the cost of goods are still very high. The only thing that have gone down is PSM. PMS, sorry, PMS and then, um, you know, uh, what do they call it now? Gas. Apart from that, food stores are even going higher. Dollar is dropping. And tomorrow they say, ah, the cause of this inflation is the Naira to dollar, blah, blah, blah. Nigerians are resolved about punishing their fellow Nigerians. And look, I the only place I fall the government in, in this matter, is not being able to regulate this pricing leaving it free for all anybody can put anything he wants on a good if you talk to them they'll say yeah we got it before the dollar came down now for nigeria things they go up you know they come down transportation will go up you know they come down nothing and this is what the government is supposed to pay attention to but how can they they are busy gallivanting around looking for where to add money in the budget and looking for where to where to pad the budget looking for how to create opportunities for theft and everything you know consistent consistent error and the more you keep seeing it the more you get to know that kind of no, there is no way forward for these people 
it's quite unfortunate that the party will now believe that ah had the goodwill of the people at heart and we're willing to actually make sure that there is a, is a party with a difference has become in fact it was even before peter became there because the corruption is already in the heart of those in that party aburi and the rest so much corruption and that is why you can't define a man with what he says give him time give him power give him money you'll get to know the real person he is small money with your entire level party see confusion everywhere everybody have gone so selfish that all they want to do now is to loot and they are not threatening anybody they can threaten threatening peter will be watch and when i come back we'll wrap this up non-conforming sure you see why i talk say beating nine be the best option you say make we not talk beating. <laughs> Grand 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 okay Grand <laughs> Gra Grandmaster, just finish, finish so that we can we can contribute. Eh? Okay, it's fine. I don't even have much to say. You know, I just feel like the, what we are battling. You know, because um, so Saraki said uh, yesterday, and I still that word got me really triggered yesterday. That Abure is sending threats to Pitobi because of the obedience. That is a step too far. You understand what I'm talking about? So now all these things are beginning to make sense. Grandmaster, that is the more reason we too we have to send threats to him. Please, no, can we allow Grandmaster? So let's just. Everybody... Yeah, I, I don't have much to say, guys, because like I said, um, I just came in, you know, and I did not catch the entire submission, but I'm trying to link it to what Sasaraki said yesterday. That threat part, you know, it seems that Pito B is actually keeping so many things away from us obedience. Because he just doesn't want the obedience, you understand, to move in a certain way or get more aggressive than they actually are. That man is hiding a lot of things from us. And I know the reason why he's doing this. He's asking for sanity. But I think we have gotten to a point whereby, guys, we may have to do this the first full way. Because what I'm seeing here is that these people are not even better. In fact, they are even looking to be worse than the APC that we are even fighting. Um, on the level of rot in that particular Labour Party, is beginning to scare me. You understand? And the fact that this lady is saying that she is being forced to sign something is already telling you that this is not possibly the first time it has happened. These people have been employing this tactic. Because she's speaking about 2019. She's not somebody that just came into that party. She probably knows more than we do. You understand? So I think that um, uh, nobody knows who Abure was before you know this entire P2B uh, you know, chapter started. And I'm beginning to understand that he actually usurped this position he is today. He wasn't supposed to be there. So there is a powerful force working within the Labour Party. And the fact that up to today, he still has support of some members of the you know, state uh, chairman. And them coming to pass a vote of confidence. It means that there's a very serious and tough cartel that is working within the Labour Party. And I think it's high time we started doing this. The old ways are not working. We need to switch tactic. And this time around, we need to be as brutal and as ruthless as these guys are. I'm, a, I'm speechless here, but not confirm it. Please go on. Come, Master. I swear. You know that. You know that moment when it feels like they've taken the scales off your face. That is the. That is the moment I'm having right now. Like, I am feeling. I feel like those who were telling us you know, don't know anything. They actually know what they've been saying. They knew what they were saying. They knew what they've been saying. Like. They actually know what they've been saying because when people have this kind of information, you've seen it, right? You've seen it. That is how bad it is. The shockwave it is giving Nigerians is unbelievable. A party that was nowhere to be found. Somebody came up and you became a force to reckon with. In fact, won an election. Won the, pres the presidential election. It was just because they had to read their way through. Mahmoud had to exchange lies had to go on a lot of offing of of irev and everything beavers had to go on for them to be able to rig their way through and then in no time you forget the promises you made to nigerians the same thing we are fighting the system that we are fighting against the same system that the apc the pdp have put in you have not entered anywhere you have you have become worse than them 
tomorrow we say ah Bolame Tinubu is the one. Are they not? If the APC are the ones and Bolame Tinubu are the ones that are actually fighting the Labour Party to scatter it, are they not tools they are using? Why will you make yourself available to be used by the devil? And tomorrow you result to threatening Peter Obi uh, because of the obedience. The obedience is a movement. It is not party oriented. It is not tied to any form of political party. That is why if Labour Party mess up today, we drag them to the ground, mob, use them mob ground. We don't fear anybody. We say our minds and we say the way it's supposed to be. So if they were thinking that ah, it's Labour Party, whatever is in-house, in-house, we tackle it there. We know we don't tackle it in-house. We bring it out. Let the whole world see that criminality is going on where we thought there was going to be hope. It is that bad. And Abure was following Peter Obi everywhere, promising. But money, power. You now understand the selfishness. What we are talking about, selfish ambition. Little wonder those guys in the House of Assembly are not doing anything. Because they have it is Abure. All of them are Abure raised. So automatically they don't have anything to offer. They sit down there in glorious seats, collect big money, sleep, and come out of there without doing nothing. And after four years, they will come and still beg the people, give them small, small rice, and say, please, help us, so let us win again. We, this time around, we are going to take the bulls by the horn. Abure is looking for how to keep sitting down on the seat of power. Greed. Wickedness. You have a lot of garbages on you, and you are not willing to leave for another person to enter. If it's some people, they will step down. They say, okay, because of this thing that is happening, all these cases that are on my head, I want to step down as the chairman. Give it to somebody else. Let us now deal with these issues. That is when we know that you have transparency, you have equity, you understand fairness, you understand, you know, what, 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 uh, uh, what do they call it now? Decency and all that is. Character. Competence. That is when we start seeing all those things play out. But he don't care to have those baggages on him and smuggle his way through to still become a leader. Criminal things. And at the end of the day, now he has become a total disgrace. And he's threatening Peter Obi. He forgets, say, the good thing happened to that other guy for Bini. If they catch him, I'll leave this matter. Thank you for watching this video, guys. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so that whenever I drop a video, you'll be the first to be notified. I'm obedient and I'm useful. I hope you are fingers crossed. Let's keep hoping I'm responsible and see how it pounds out. God bless you. I'll see you next time.